these mirrors focus solar radiation and convert it into steam, and I am experimentally testing various types of solar heaters to find the best type to convert solar radiation into thermal energy at this cost, half a cent per kilowatt hour. This level of cost for our solar energy is about 10 times cheaper than heat from natural gas, although here we see that in some periods the gas of European markets can be almost a hundred times more expensive. That is why our cheap solar heat can be used to generate cheap solar electricity which will win the competition against thermal and nuclear power plants. Right now, this type number 2 seems to be the leader of my experiments because it seems to have the best chance of achieving the desired cost, half a cent per kilowatt hour of thermal solar energy. But maybe these other types will end up better than the number two, and I will start describing them in a minute. These cheap devices should replace these very expensive solar heaters of this type of solar power plants, and now investors have already built more than a hundred power plants of this type in various countries with a total cost of about 40 billion dollars. Their mirrors focus solar radiation which heats thermal oil inside these tubes to temperatures of almost 400 degrees. This hot oil moves to the center of the solar plant, where a proportion of its thermal energy produces steam for a turbine that generates electricity, but the rest of the thermal energy of the oil comes to such heat storages. A few hours later, in the evening or at night, this thermal energy will produce steam for the same turbine. And this is one of the advantages of our solar power over solar panels which can work well only during the sun. So, let's look at how I go along the following six ways to this desired cost, half a cent per kilowatt hour of thermal solar energy. Its mirror is a sheet of reflective metal of minimal thickness but sufficient to withstand hail or hurricanes. Now I am showing how my metal sheets focus solar radiation here where we should place a similar receiver which must use the cheapest and most reliable devices to move it according to the movement of the sun across the sky. So far my research on this type of solar heaters has been described by these two videos. These are the conditions for achieving the desired cost of solar heat of half a cent per kilowatt hour where we see the requirements for construction costs for the cost of capital and I spent for operating costs and other parameters. The closest thing to these requirements is a similar thin sheet of mirror standing still of this grade but I started testing a few other options. For example, this is a very thin sheet of anodized aluminum on a sheet of cheap steel. This mirror is very cheap because it consists of this mesh of steel rods worth $3. And this reflective film at a price of 25 cents per square meter. I am currently testing the durability of this cheap film and the results are a pleasant surprise because the film has been running for over a year. When I wait for the film to be destroyed, I will describe the results of this testing in a new video in addition to these old videos which have been on my YouTube channel for about a year. My cheap mirror focuses solar radiation into this spot where we should place a similar receiver to convert that solar energy into thermal energy and the receiver should move according to the movement of the sun across the sky. This is the formula for calculating the cost of our solar heat at the level of half a cent per kilowatt hour and this task looks realistic but requires more experimentation including cheap and easy methods of replacing old reflective films with new ones and this will be described in my future videos. Now I am showing one of my old experiments so that we understand that the idea of a cheap reflective film on a cheap mesh can be the basis of many varieties of solar heaters and for example here we see a sinker that stretches the film. I have measured the lifespan of the film in this situation several times and this experiment concluded that it is a little less than one year, but the addition of such a film significantly increases the lifespan of the reflective film.
Now I am showing one of my mirrors, and we see that it is a layer of concrete, and one of its surfaces is covered with a cheap reflective film. Similar mirrors formed this reflective row, which focuses solar radiation here. I have been doing research on this type of solar heaters for less than a year, and the research has been described in this old video, but I will have to do many more experiments for my future videos. Concrete is the ideal material for mirror bases due to its low cost and long lifespan. In addition, concrete retains the shape of its surface well and its large weight allows for very simple methods of fixing the mirrors to the ground and resisting a hurricane. But of course, a cheaper option would be to replace the concrete mass with clay, sand or other soil if we find a cheap method to keep the curved shape of the surface for several decades, and maybe I will do these experiments. This is one of the examples which is based on such mirrors on the upper surface of similar concrete slabs which are commonly used for garden paths, sidewalk or covering large areas. I have put over a hundred of the mirror tiles which we can also see here. These are spots of solar radiation from each of my mirrors. We see that the spots are trying to unite at one point where we should place a similar receiver which will convert the solar energy into heating liquid heat transfer to a temperature of several hundred degrees. Our mirror tiles should cover long rows with analogous receivers which move according to the moment of the sun across the sky, and we know about similar machines for placing slabs in long rows. Of course, this is only the beginning of my research on this type of solar heater, and I have described it in this my old video, and these are targets of my future research for future videos. In addition, I want to experimentally test a few ideas with such mirror tiles, which are the rectangles of ordinary glass mirrors. Three years ago I already tried to use similar mirror tiles, but I noticed a few disadvantages, which I would like to correct. This idea is based on these very cheap mirrors, which have been tested at this my solar station during 8 years. We see that my mirrors consist of a cheap reflective film on a sheet of porous polymer, and this is a list of materials for mirrors with a total cost of less than $1 per square meter of mirrors. This is one example of a solar heater based on those cheap mirrors, and I described this example in my previous video, and solar radiation is focused by its mirrors here. I have some more interesting ideas for solar heaters based on that type of cheap mirrors, and I will describe those ideas in my future videos after they have been experimentally tested. This formula describes my goals for achieving the desired cost of our solar heat, half a cent per kilowatt hour. We saw that my video has already shown five types of the most promising mirrors, but in addition to them I am looking for other types, and this is the first example from American engineers. It is an ordinary balloon, but this side is a transparent film, and the other side is a reflective film, which takes on the desired curved shape, and therefore it focuses the solar radiation into this receiver. Last summer I bought this large balloon, experimented with it, and showed the results in one of my videos three months ago. This is the second example from Portugal, and its relative was shown by this famous American blogger. This reflective film becomes concave due to the negative pressure behind it. This third example is Fresnel lenses, and maybe someday we will meet a solar heater based on Fresnel lenses, which will be able to generate solar heat at half a cent per kilowatt hour.